Two Missouri high schools received fake school shooting threats today, and one of them happened here in mid-Missouri. ABC 17's Marina Diaz is joining us in studio tonight. Marina, school officials and local law enforcement are saying these threats were just a prank, but they have to be taken seriously no matter what. Marissa Lucas, Michelle Baumstark with the Columbia Public Schools confirmed that the threat called into Battle High School was a prank. I came down to, or I went down to the school earlier this morning and found out that the threat was called in and saw a few of those Columbia police officers driving around the high school. A few ambulances also appeared to be on standby. Students and staff did not evacuate the building. Baumstark says that Battle High School has two school resource officers plus district safety and security personnel permanently assigned to the school. She said they confirmed there wasn't an issue at the school and they are currently working on tracing that threat. And according to a Fox affiliate KTVI out of St. Louis, St. Mary's High School received a hoax threat today as well. As you can see, lots of police could be seen from the school as dozens of police cars responded to the high school. Corporal Kyle Green with the Missouri State Highway Patrol says while hoaxes like these cause unnecessary panic, he says it's still better to report a threat sooner than later. If they see or observe something or hear something that they think is, is valuable information to law enforcement and could potentially cause harm to the school, the students, the teachers, anybody involved, you know, please let us know. We will look into it. Um, at the same time, we wish these people would stop doing it as well. Marissa Lucas, these threats come just a week after a school shooting threat was written on a bathroom wall at Hickman High School. Thankfully, at this time, none of these threats today appear to have any credibility. Marita, thanks. Now, the Columbia Police Department said in a tweet that it takes these kinds of incidents seriously and is continuing its investigation into the origin of this call.